Hello home audio fans, Dustin here, Average Guy Hi-Fi. I just wanted to upload this video. I thought this would be something a little bit different. I'm a little bit speaker heavy right now. I've bought some pairs of speakers and some systems that I want to test for you guys. I'm still working on the editing. Got another meeting tomorrow um, with a friend of mine that does video editing. So I'll pick out software and all that type of stuff and then sit down and really learn it. But again, I wanted to kind of keep these reviews going to keep my own personal momentum um, going and also just to keep contributing because I know how important that is to um, kind of maintain subscribers and everything. So anyway, this is uh, kind of an idea I had. I wanted to, since I have five different brands of speakers in my house currently, I wanted to just run a Denon's Odyssey setup um, calibration microphone there for you and then show you guys how it ends up setting all the speakers and everything. So I felt like that would give you some information. I know that the, you know, the big deaf tech is um, very efficient. So um, I've already gone through this once. They all sound totally different in the room. Um, but then I'll show you guys where uh, the ends up setting everything. So I'm going to try to keep this video a little bit on the shorter side. But unfortunately, because this is the um, Odyssey Multi-EQ XT32, it will make me do it three times. And then I want to show you guys the results. So um, I'm going to run through it. Shouldn't take long, probably um, a couple minutes of running through the, um, the setup process with the microphone and everything. But I'll go over the gear first. This is a Definitive Technology Mythos ST. Super Tower with the powered subwoofers built into it. Um, this little energy speaker is something I just picked up. It is a XLC100 um, center channel, part of a speaker package that I'll be reviewing a little bit later. Uh, this right here is my personal uh, system that I'm currently using. I have a 5.1. This is an Aperion Audio 6T um, tower speaker. Uh, the subwoofer is not turned on. I felt like for simplicity of just showing you guys what I was trying to accomplish here, um, I would leave the subwoofer off. That right there is an RBH 41 SE that I just reviewed not too long ago. Um, this speaker is not turned on, but that is a Monitor Audio Radius uh, 270 HD tower that I brought in from my office that I use. Uh, and this over here is the Monitor Audio Radius HD 250 um, center channel. So I'll be reviewing those as well too. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of get you guys going. Um, and show you another video here that I thought would be interesting. And then I'll show you guys the test results. So if you've been through Odyssey, uh, you can kind of maybe fast forward through this part, but I'll just run the test tones. Um, if you haven't, these right here just kind of walks you through, um, kind of you want to make sure your room's quiet. You want to have a nice little flat surface for the microphone to sit on. Um, you want to connect the microphone to the AVR, obviously. It tells you that um, since this is the nicer version of the Odyssey that you have nine points if you wanted to. I'm just gonna run three um, and I'm gonna leave the microphone in the same spot. So I don't wanna mess with that because I want them all to uh, basically just run through the system the way that it is, the way it's sitting in place here. Cause that is the center of my room. These are all pretty um, equal distances apart from, uh, from the microphone here. And then it just tells you ear height, which that roughly is ear height right there. And then I'll kind of just pan through the, pan through the test um, when the speakers are playing. But we'll just go ahead and start it off here. Okay, that was the first cycle. It's saying that there's front speakers, there's center speakers, and surround speakers. So just hit next. Um, it's saying place the microphone, th same thing. Basically what you wanna do is keep the, the center position, whatever you use the microphone, leave it there. And then um, you can move it around, but no more than two feet away from the first position is kind of how they're recommending it. I'm leaving it in the same spot again. So I'll just hit continue. <laughs>
continue. Again, leaving the microphone in the same spot. Okay, and again, it lets you kind of continue on if you want to keep doing different areas in the room that you want to do it. I'm just going to go complete for sake of length here. Um, Odyssey dynamic EQ, I'm going to say no to that. Um, dynamic volume on, I'm going to keep that on no. And right now it's um, applying room corrections. So it's just kind of putting all that information that it just gathered up into the receiver so it knows how to set everything. And then as soon as it's done doing that, um, we'll be able to show you guys where it set the distances and the levels. The levels is kind of the main reason I wanted to do this video, just so you can kind of see what the difference is uh, between the different um, speakers and where the Denon thinks they should be. Go next, unplug the microphone. And then I'm going to go to details. So right now it's showing Odyssey Multi EQ XT32 is on. Odyssey Dynamic EQ is off. Odyssey Dynamic Volume is off. And then I'll go to details. It set the front speakers to large, the center speaker to small, subwoofer to none, surround speakers to small. Uh, front left speaker, 7.8 feet from the microphone. Front right speaker, 7.6 feet from the microphone. Center speaker, 6.9 feet. Surround left, 5.1. Surround right, 4.5. And then right here is kind of the main reason. Uh, it set the front left at negative 9 dB. It set the front right at negative 6 dB. The center at negative 8.5 dB. The surround left at negative 7 dB. Surround right, negative 1 dB. So, um, yeah, I thought that would kind of be interesting. It's saying the front at full band, the center at 150 hertz, and the surrounds at 80 hertz. And that was it. That was kind of the main reason that I wanted to um, do that for you guys. But let's just swap over. I decided to put on a little bit of a, a movie. I'm not even sure. It's like um, in 4K here on my... My OLED, I'll probably be reviewing this TV. I think there's a lot of reviews already up for it, so I haven't really been in a hurry here. Um, but then I'll kind of show you a space scene here. Stop! Hey, get in the car. We're all going. No, you don't. Just the go. I said, we're all going. Disable the car! I need to go to line. Alright guys, well again, this is uh, Dustin, Average Guy Hi-Fi. Um, I'm having it issues with editing, so it's been slowing me down a little bit, but I have speakers. I've been buying the speakers, getting some good deals. Um, somebody wants to buy my appearing audio speakers, so... I uh, just wanted to put this video up. I'm working with somebody tomorrow about some editing tips, and then I'll buy the software, and then the video should improve. But again, I kind of promised some of the early subscribers. I'm up to like 59 subscribers now, right now, which is pretty amazing considering a weekend. But I think the idea of the used audio market, kind of used speaker value kind of resonated. So my plan is to upload a couple videos a week and um, basically just go ahead and stay tuned. Again, Dustin, Average Guy Hi-Fi, thank you very much for watching my video, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday.